So you've just started your brand new business and you know that to make it, you need a great website. You're considering Squarespace as an option to build your site. Great idea, by the way. But you need to know how much it's going to cost. Between the subscription, the domain, templates, images, fonts, and all the things that go into our website, it can add up pretty fast, but it doesn't have to. So today I'm going to break down all of these options so you can tally it up and figure out exactly what building and hosting your site with Squarespace is actually going to cost. First, let's talk about the costs that are unavoidable, your subscription and your domain. So your subscription is the monthly fee that you pay to Squarespace to host your website and use their services. There's a variety of different price plans which all offer different levels. So you'll need to go through and figure out what you'll need for your site and which subscription you'll need to be on. And then you'll be able to see the price. Squarespace subscriptions range from around 16 to $65 per month, depending on what country you're in. These are also updated quite often. So make sure you're just checking the most recent prices at squarespace.com slash pricing. Also, if you're not exactly sure what subscription you need to be on just yet, you can always start with the lowest and move up a tier at any time if you need to add in more features from those higher plans. Your domain is your website URL, for example, www.bigcatcreative.com and you need to pay for your domain separately from your subscription. You can actually buy your domain via Squarespace, which makes it really easy to manage everything in the same place. And also Squarespace does offer a free custom domain name for a whole year when you purchase their annual subscription. So you might not even have to pay for your domain for the first year. If Squarespace doesn't have the domain you want though, which is possible, you can also purchase one from a third party provider like GoDaddy or Namecheap. There's so many different domain providers and you can easily connect that to your Squarespace site. So you don't have to buy it through Squarespace. It might be a little bit easier to have it through Squarespace so you can manage everything in one platform and you might get it free for a year with Squarespace, but domains aren't actually that expensive anyway. So if you can't get it free through Squarespace for the first year, don't worry too much because domains typically start at around $20 to $40 per year. They can go up really significantly depending on a few factors, particularly popularity. So if you're going for something that someone already owns and is trying to sell for a really high price or something that's really in demand, you could pay astronomical prices. And if that's the case with the domain you want, I honestly recommend just rethinking your business name, rethinking your domain name, and you should be aiming for around $20 to $40 per year for your domain. So by looking into Squarespace pricing and searching for your domain name to see the rough yearly cost, you should be able to figure out roughly how much you'll be paying for your subscription and domain combined every year. And that might be it. You can actually stop there. If you DIY your website completely, as in you don't pay anyone to help you build it or add on anything extra, that is all you'll be paying. Squarespace is super DIY friendly and has a lot built in, so it's pretty realistic that you might only need to pay for those two things. But let's dive into the different options for customization so you can get the full spectrum of what it could cost you for these extras. Let's start with custom web design. So having a custom web design specifically created for you by a professional website designer is the dream, right? But for this to become a reality, your small business budget better be feeling pretty healthy because a custom website design will likely set you back at least a couple of thousand dollars. Of course, this price will vary depending on exactly what you need from your website. For example, how many pages, what sort of features you need, as well as the expertise of the web designer that you want to work with. A junior designer that's just starting out on their freelancing journey will charge significantly less than a well-established pro. But finding the right website designer with the right balance of expertise and design style you love can be quite a time-consuming task in itself. And we certainly don't recommend hiring someone that gives you the first offer off Fiverr or something and someone who promises you the website of your dreams for just a couple of hundred dollars because it's just not realistic and you'll most likely be really disappointed. So little warning right there. Because of its significant price tag, a custom website design is a big investment and this is generally not the option that we'd recommend for a small business that is just starting out and is still a little bit unsure about their whole look and vibe and exactly what they'll be offering. To make a custom website worthwhile, you'll want an established brand identity that you're certain won't be changing anytime soon. The last thing you want is to have to pay another significant sum for someone to update your site six months down the road when you decide you want to change your offers or change your branding. The price range for something custom is huge and so dependent on what you need. Using Squarespace doesn't really make much of a difference to the price here. Custom is custom and you can pay anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000. So the best thing for you to do is if you really do want something custom, start looking around at different designers and see their price ranges and get some quotes so you can have a 
a realistic idea of what you'll want to pay. So on the complete opposite end of that spectrum, let's talk about DIYing your own website with zero help. Building your own website from scratch is certainly the most affordable option in this list. Apart from your time, your only expenses will be that Squarespace subscription and domain like we talked about. Squarespace has libraries of free fonts, photos, templates, and really everything you need to design a beautiful website, all baked into the price of the subscription. So you don't need to worry about paying for any of those extra design elements. Squarespace does make it incredibly easy to build a website all by yourself. And if you've just got one creative bone in your body, designing your own website can actually be really, really fun and a really rewarding experience. That said, if you're maybe not so creatively inclined or don't have any previous design experience, under your belt. Knowing exactly what to add on each page and where to put it can get a little bit overwhelming and time consuming really, really quickly. So unless you have pretty clear direction, are enthusiastic to learn some new skills and have quite a bit of time set aside, building your own website completely from scratch with no help might get a little bit tough. Though if you do feel up for it, it is undoubtedly the cheapest option, so definitely give it a go. If neither of the previous options sounded ideal, then working with a custom Squarespace template may just be the perfect in between. So let's talk about Squarespace website templates. And we're not talking about the free ones that Squarespace provides. We're talking about the ones that you purchase from a third party business. They're designed and developed by professional website designers like ourselves. The website templates are pre-designed websites that you can totally customize to fit your business. They come in all shapes and sizes for all kinds of industries and already have all of the features of a good website built in, like strategic layouts, maybe coded features. They're they're optimized for specific industries. Maybe they can guide you on what sort of copy to write or how to improve your SEO. Usually costing no more than a few hundred dollars, website templates are a really great alternative to the high price of custom design and the all-consuming beast that is building your website entirely on your own. While every template shop has their own exact process, website templates usually come with guides that show you how to use the template and use Squarespace. And lots of them also offer a built-in support service which can be a really, really huge help. So if you do want to use a template, this will generally cost between $200 and $500, depending on the store, of course, and what's included in the template. If you do love the idea of a template and having that extra guidance for a cost that is much less than a custom design, make sure to check out our range of Squarespace templates. They start at just $197 and they all include in-depth resources to help you build your site and access to our dedicated support team. Definitely check what's included in any other templates you purchase around the web. I'm only speaking for ours when I say all of those great things that are included. Okay, so that's pretty much it. For your Squarespace website, you're going to need a subscription, which will be between $16 to $65 per month, a domain, which is usually around $20 per year, but might be 30 or 40 a year. From there, you can spend nothing else and totally DIY your website, or you can look into custom design, which will cost anywhere between $1,000 or $10,000. Or you can grab a premium Squarespace template, which will be anywhere between $200 and $500. Because so much of Squarespace is all-in-one and all of the features are baked into the subscription, you'll find that there isn't lots of hidden costs like you might get with other website builders like WordPress. And you don't have to pay for any extras. So I hope this video was helpful for you and outlined all of the costs of building your site with Squarespace. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out this video because you probably will enjoy that too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.